Hello, my name is Dr. Eric Natmar. I'm one of the spine surgeons in the neurosurgery department at Mayo Clinic in Florida. One of the more common procedures we do at Mayo Clinic Florida in spine surgery is spinal fusion procedures. And this entails placing rods and screws into the spine to hold the spine straighter or to correct it uh, from a deformity. Traditional techniques of placing instrumentation into the spine have uh, used fluoroscopy, which is a 2D method or two-dimensional method that exposes the patient and the surgeon to, to radiation. One of the new uh, techniques we're employing down at Mayo Clinic Florida is the use of the O-arm. The O-arm is an intraoperative CT scan, which uh, allows us to perform a CT in the operating room uh, while the patient's spine is exposed. This data is then sent to the computer system and the uh, data is automatically registered uh, within the computer system. The computer system allows us to track instruments in 3D space uh, with infrared technology, and this allows us to uh, pass the instruments over the patient's spine and shows us the optimal location based on the CT scan of where to place screws. Now, in the largest study in the literature uh, describing this technology, uh, we, were able to pit, we, were, we were able to pl place larger diameter screws in a more accurate fashion uh, in the patient's spine. Another advantage of the O-arm is that uh, there's very minimal radi radiation exposure to the surgeon and the operating room staff and uh, decreased radiation exposure to the patient. One of the longer term advantages of using the O-arm to place instrumentation in the spine is that you can place, as I said before, bigger screws in a more accurate fashion. Now, if you place bigger screws in the spine, this increases the spinal stability and increases the success rate of the operation. Additionally, if a patient sustains a nerve root injury during spinal instrumentation, that can result in lifelong debilitation for the patient in some cases. Therefore, if you can decrease the rate of nerve root injury by placing more accurate screws, this has a tremendous advantage to the patient uh, and is a much more safer technique. One of the advantages of using real-time imagery in the operating room is the fact that the patient's anatomy can shift compared to pre-op. It can shift uh, when the patient's on the table. So being able to capture that patient's anatomy uh, when they're in the same position that they're undergoing surgery results in better accuracy in navigation of the instruments and resulting better accuracy in your screw placement. Mayo Clinic in Florida has published one of the largest studies in the literature using this technology. Uh, as of today, we've placed uh, almost 2,000 screws in the patient's spine. They've had a very low rate of complications. Uh, we've had very good results using this technology uh, in the operating room.